Hey guys, it's Kara from Toxic Escape here. Um, I want to do a quick video on narcissism. Um, I don't know anyone who doesn't have a narcissist, narcissist in their life. Um, it's an epidemic. They're everywhere and they wear great masks so it's very hard to identify them sometimes. Um, personally and professionally I've crossed paths with tons of narcissists and I've made a lot of mistakes in trying to deal with them and how I tried to approach them and I learned a few things so I just wanted to do a quick video just on some of the do's and don'ts when trying to deal with a narcissist. Um, number one, you need to stop trying to reason with them because you're completely wasting your time. Um, they tend to thrive on conflict, on disagreements, on drama, on rows, and they generally don't care if their behaviours have a negative impact on you. They don't care. Um, you are completely wasting your time trying to reason with them, trying to explain to them the impact they're having on your life, and you need to stop now because they have nothing to gain by changing their behaviours. Um, they have nothing to gain by by causing, by creating a, a peaceful environment. They have more to gain by creating emotional upset. Um, it fuels them. So lesson number one: stop trying to reason with them. Number two, you need to stop trying to excuse their behaviour as well. I, I, I've come across a lot of different families and different people where there may be one person who may be defined as a narcissist or they define that person as a narcissist. And they, they're constantly explaining their behaviour for, or maybe they're under a lot of pressure on their life and work and their career, their relationships, and maybe they're highly stressed. But in truth, there's no excuse for bad behaviour. And you're only fueling it by excusing it. So you need to stop that quickly. And then number three, I was to stop trying to understand them because you won't. Um, their a narcissist's brain is hardwired so differently than any other person or a, a functional person. Um, you'll spend your life trying to understand their point of view, why they behave the way they do, and you'll never really get to the root of it because half the time they don't know themselves. Um, it's just you're wasting energy and you're wasting your life, so I'd stop straight away. Um, some of the recommend like, some things I'd recommend you to do is um, number one, find out what brought this person into your life in the first place. Um, I know some people who, you know, they would have had, a, I know one person in particular, they had a big circle of friends and for whatever happened, they had um, a row with the friend, one of the friends and then they all kind of turned on him and then he was left on his own and he lost a huge chunk of his friends literally overnight. So he felt very alone and he didn't know what to be doing and all of a sudden he met this other person who became a very good friend of his. They became very close over the years and it wasn't until later on as he grew and became an adult, he realised that there's something inherently wrong with this person. Um, he, he started to notice the manipulation, the games, and the little snipes at his own self-esteem. But again, it's important to just find out what, what happened in your life that brought the narcissist in in the first place. Um, number two, you need to kind of question, what do you need off this person? What basic needs do you have in terms of, is it self-esteem? Is it respect? Is it approval? Um, are you always worrying and you need someone strong to give you peace of mind? So it's important to try and understand why you keep bringing either this person or these people into your life. Because if you don't get to the root, you'll probably make the same mistake over and over again. And then it's trying to find alternative ways of getting those needs met. If you're someone that constantly thrives or constantly needs peace of mind, explore why you worry so much. And there's, there's you know, lots of techniques, lots of meditations on YouTube that might help you address your own mental state and, and why you worry as much as you do. If it's um, approval or respect that you're looking off this person, then you really need to explore your own self-esteem and why is your own self-esteem so low. And you know, we all have you know different levels of self-esteem and it varies per person and what their life experiences are like and the different people that they've been exposed to growing up. But it's again, as an adult now, it's something that can be changed. And it's really about bringing in the right people into your life who can mirror the changes that you're seeing inside yourself and mirroring. And they will validate the experiences and validate your opinions and, and your feelings and it start to boost your own self-worth. And again, and lesson number three then is to make sure you bring in the right people into your life who will support you, especially if you're trying to push the narcissist out because the wrong person will kind of say to you, well, look, you know, maybe they might, again, start to excuse the behavior of the narcissist or they may start have empathy for them. But again, it's easy to do that when you're not emotionally attached to somebody. When, when you are emotionally attached and you try to pull away from them, there will be a process of guilt and a process of worry. And we need people to support us who will help us through this process and tell you, look, there's no need for you to be guilty. Or there's, you don't need to worry about that person because you're not responsible for them. So building up a strong support network, a network is very important as well. So 
that's it really quick video um thanks for watching it guys again keep in touch with the website and the facebook page and i'll probably put more stuff up in the next couple of weeks and if you think of it please share some of the content because it may um connect with some of your friends people i don't know but they may um appreciate some of the information on the article so that's it thanks a minute guys take care bye bye